All right, well, I think I'll do is I'm just going to ask you a few questions about what school is like for you. Um, you know, in a traditional school, if you tend to go to one classroom and then you're there for a good part of the day. You've got a different setup here. What is it like when you first walk in? What does it look like for a person who hasn't been to your school? Well, first, they usually come in during the start of the day, so they usually see all of us out in the hallway, which we call personal flex, where we can work individually um, to work on something. And if you go into our classrooms, it would probably look like some kids would be sitting off in a corner in a group working together, or some would be on their iPads looking at Buzz to see what they have to do next. Mm -hmm. So what's it like when you walk in the school? Um, when I walk in the school, it looks really nice because everyone's just focused on their learning mm -hmm. and they're all working somewhere. Like we have learning lounge, we have a coaching corner, and we have lots of other places. Mm -hmm. um, so when I walk in there, it just seems so much fun for me to see everyone having, being happy and really focusing on their learning. So let's talk about some of those areas you talked about. Like you said, there's a coaching corner. What is that? What is well, the there? coaching corner is in like during math or reading. Um, the teacher will be sitting back there, and she'll call up groups to like teach about like in math or in reading. And like in math right now, I'm in multiplication division, and I'm doing long division, so I have to go up to the coaching corner to have a coaching session with Miss Wagers and in reading I'm in poetry so I have to go up there with Mr. Muth to mm -hmm. have a coaching session. What about some of those other areas you talked about? Um, we have the discovery zone. It's where like you set up for your artifacts and make posters and then we have like where the library is, the quiet zone, and that's where you read and it's all quiet back there. It's a voice level is zero, mm -hmm. and that's where you just read. Mm -hmm. It's not like a real library. It's just like a little corner filled with books. Mm -hmm. I, I remember right, you've got some comfortable chairs. And yeah, they're like, like bean that. bags. Bean and bags and things like that. Now, um, it's, it's kind of four classrooms that you all are, but you have that open area that's in between. So how do you know what classroom you even start in the morning? Well, well, you kind of know because each like four weeks or so, we go into a new, no, new ro rotation. Mm -hmm. Like, so this week I'm in poetry, but next week I'm going to be in Miss Hansen's because I have to go to historical fiction to do that. So you kind of have to just pick where you're gonna go next or you're gonna like maybe do it again on something that you have already done so um, when you're in that classroom like we have this app called buzz mm -hmm. and buzz is where we have all these must do's learning targets and like must do's um, they're like word works free to self and um, in math, we have like this math folder. You go in and then you have like math by myself, math with a partner, math with a facilitator, and then you have your artifact. And you have the resources to help you. Like if you don't get it and you want to get better at it, so then you click in the folder and then you watch the resources. And so, and our artifacts, they're really fun because we have tons of other apps that you can create. With some, um, like, I like Book Creator, iMovie, and Book Creator is where you can create, like, comics and, uh, like, lots of stuff. And so I like using that stuff and making posters for my artifact. So you're using all those tools to show that you, how you learned something? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In reading, I've already finished mine, and I personally like to make uh, like a poster board, like it's just a piece of paper that I like to write everything down on. Cause if I do it on like a video or something, it's probably gonna run into like five minutes and 
and our teachers say we can only have like a two minute video and some people have done like 10 minute videos on like poetry or something. I so see. so they just reject that artifact and tell you to redo it. Okay. So when you, uh, when you come in in the morning, um, you don't have an assigned desk anywhere? No, yeah. you, got, you just get to choose where you want to work. So how do you, where is your stuff? How do you handle your well, stuff? Well, we have like a little book bin and it's just about like the size of like this. And we just have all of our folders, our iPad, and everything we need in there. So we, and then we just bring that to whatever classroom we're going to. And then we just have, and then everything else like scissors and paper and glue and all that stuff are just in every studio. So we don't need to bring it from. So you're carrying around the things you need as you go from one yeah. to the next. Okay. Now, do you all work with all four teachers at one time or another, or? Um, not really, because mm -hmm. usually you have a place for, like, in math, I'm in measurement, so I'm in Miss Gottsleben's class, and she's my home studio. Like, she's Studio P, we have Studio E, Studio I, and Studio C. Mm -hmm. And so, we know that because all the classrooms have like a lot, like they have a poster there and says like this there for Studio P and Studio E. And so usually uh, measurement is really hard for me and reading you get, you can have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I love reading, it's my favorite. <laughs> So when you, uh, when you have reading time then, you may all be in different classrooms, but you're all working at reading at the same time, or are you sometimes doing different? No, we're always doing reading at the same time. We go from like, I think it's like 8.45ish to 9.45, because then from 9.45 to 10 we do math facts. And so from 8.45 to that we get an hour to work on our reading must-dos or artifact. So the schedule is similar than every day when you're working on reading and then when you're working on math, but you may be in different places working on different things all at the same time. Right? Yeah, so it all be in reading, but in each studio or classroom, we are all doing something like Mr. Muth is poetry, Miss Scott Slavin is mystery, um, Miss Wagers is biographies, and Miss Hansen's is historical fiction. So we'd all go through a rotation to go to all those studios, but you wouldn't have to go to like Mr. Muth, Gottsleib, and Miss Wagers, Miss Hansen's. Mm -hmm. You could like go from whichever one you want to go to. So do you sometimes work in groups instead of just by yourself? You can Tell work. Me more about that. You can work in a group or by yourself. It's really your choice. Like. In the learning lounges, it's just like a lounge from like a like, like a restaurant or something, mm -hmm. and then we can all just sit back there on the table and work on our artifacts together or do our, some must do's together. Are there times when you work with other kids? Um, yeah, you can have some coaching sessions, and there's this sometime when like that teacher is full with the group, like when they call like time, measurement, or money back to there. Um, sometimes she may have seminars, but sometimes if it's all full, the teacher will say, um, "How about you ask an? How about you can ask a like a learner if they want to give you a mini coaching session?" And so like you and so kids come back to like another kid if they've already passed that MT, and then they can learn like you can help them get through it, practice some problems, and do lots of other things with it. Okay. Now we're used to seeing in schools where all the eight-year-olds are together and all the nine-year-olds together and all the ten-year-olds. Do you have times when you're working with kids older or younger than you? Well, in our home like classrooms, like in Miss Wager, she has fifth and fourth combined together. But then, like, during math and stuff, or in social studies and writing, they all split into fifth graders, fourth graders, third graders, and second graders. So are there times when you work with older kids then? Um, you'd, no, because I'm a little. Mm -hmm. And so usually they're ahead of the little sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
So usually if I need some help, I can ask them to help me because usually um, if I don't get this, I'll go ask a bigger kid to help me or I'll go up to the teacher and facilitate, like she'll, fa she'll be my teacher and kind of help me. Mm -hmm. So that's when she'll give me a coaching session. But if she doesn't have time to give me a coaching session, then I'll just go ask another learner if they can help and kind of give me a coaching session. I see. So you have the four classrooms and then you have that open space kind of in between them. And what's that area called? Personal, Personal flex, flex. Where you kind of go out there and it's at like a spy talk where you're like just whispering so one person can hear you, but you really shouldn't probably be working in groups. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just out there, that's why it's called personal flex. It's only you, you are the only one, it's not group work. Group work is only supposed to happen in the learning lounge. Uh -huh. That's where you do your group work. Okay. Um, but out there in personal flex, it's usually just you by yourself doing work and just mm -hmm. being quiet out there and just working. So how do the teachers know where you're at at any given moment? Um, because we have magnets, mm -hmm. and so we have hallway, bathroom, Studio E, Studio P, Studio I, and Studio C. So like you would move your magnet if you were somewhere else, you would move it. Like if you're going to Studio C, you would move your magnet over there. Or if you were going to the hallway, you would move it to the hallway. And so that's how the teacher knows where you're going. Okay. Okay. Well. Um, Right here, Paul? Did you that's, add anything else? No, that's a great description of what you're doing day to day. You guys It'd be good to go see your room and uh, get some pictures. You guys are very good at describing what, how this works. So, uh, and I've, even though I've been here before, I picked up a few things just talking with you, so you did a very nice job of doing that. Um, I think we'll, we'll call it quits for now.